The next um, biggest thing that Freud brought to the world of psychology is his psychosexual theory of human development. So the first part was about our hidden desires. And the second part is about how our ego was developed, how our superego was developed, about the conflicts between the ego and superego, and about four stages that every child, every one of us went through, and how those stages affected our adulthood. And he uses the term psychosexual stages. He believed the child's life is built around uh, the concept of tension and pleasure. And he called pleasure as a libido energy. Too much tension, uh, too much uh, control, and we have a fixation. Fixation is his word, which means too much tension, basically. And this fixation has a lasting effect in our childhood. Each stage uh, has some specific conflict that the child should resolve. And Freud believed that the first five years of our life is crucial to form our adult personality. And uh, those five, uh, st uh, there are five stages which he um, offered to the world of psychology. And you can remember them by a phrase, uh, old age parrots live grapes. Old stands for oral stage, uh, age stage for anal stage, when the person um, is going through the potty training. Parents stands for phallic stage. Uh, love stands for uh, latent period or latent stage. And grapes stands for genital stage. And... Um, Later, Freud's follows expanded this theory, and I will share with you uh, expanded version and also add my explanation. Uh, and we'll try to find the simple words to describe uh, this complicated psychological theory. When people come to the therapies they want to understand themselves, and in order to understand ourselves, we have to go back to our childhood. And the first stage that Freud was talking about is the oral stage. He um, did not talk about the uh, uh, prenatal period. His theory starts from the oral stage. And oral stage or oral fixation or oral type of personality is formed at the age uh, from 0 to 18 months. Uh, basically the first year, year and a half of, of baby's life. And the focus of libido, uh, the part of the body where a baby receives the biggest pleasure, is mouth. The baby receives pleasure by sucking milk or by chewing objects. Taken out from the mother's breast too early can lead to a serious problems later. A person might have problems with the weight. Uh, all type of eating disorder forms here. Uh, alcoholism, smoking, uh, biking, biting pencils, mm, oral people with oral type of personality are trying to achieve satisfaction through their mouth. And because uh, the child is completely dependent on his mother or his caretaker, this is the period when the baby develops a sense of trust and comfort. And the first uh, emotional contact is a reciprocal smile uh, when, which happens between first and second month of baby's life. Anxiety uh, of losing mother develops at seven months. So uh, the baby um, at the earliest stage before, like on, on the first or second month, he um, can treat uh, basically any adult as his mother. But uh, when he is about six to seven months old, he can um, identify his mother and he can uh, experience stress and fear and anxiety if mother is leaving him for a long period of time. And long period of time is like a day, two days a week or more than a week, right? Um, a fear of strangers is formed at about, at about eight months old. 
and the, the child becomes extremely sensitive to develop any type of anxiety or fears or stress at seven to nine months, months old. So it's very important for mommy to be with her baby during the first nine months of his life. And at this age, we form um, the following beliefs. The, the world is a safe place or the world is a dangerous place, is not a safe place. And I cannot trust this world. My life is not safe. The second belief is that uh, the world is uh, an abundant place. Uh, I have, I can get anything I want. The world has unlimited resources or the world has limited resources and I have to fight for those resources. It's not enough for everyone. And the third belief is I cannot trust people or I can trust people. Basically, if my mom is always here for me, if she satisfied, satisfies my desires, then I can trust other people. If uh, the child uh, was uh, separated from his mother, then most likely he will develop a belief that I cannot trust other people and he will have a trust issues later uh, when he will try to create a relationship, love and romantic relationship in his life. Uh, mother supposed to hold her baby while breastfeed or bottle feeding. This is also how baby develops his first fundamental ability to connect with other people through connection with his mother. And as a result, again, if uh, mother did not hold the baby, if he did not feel her body, then uh, when the baby grows up, he might develop a trust issues and he might struggle with creating a friendship and uh, um, loving, caring, romantic relationship. This type of baby is gonna grow up into adult who will have difficulties of creating emotional deep contact with other people. He might become a victim of toxic relationship. He might end up in a relationship with a narcissistic person and he might um, Mm, feel himself as a victim and be aggressive towards other people. Uh, the fixation on this stage, basically when uh, the baby did not receive enough milk, when uh, the baby had a problem with sucking a mother nipple, or when mother did not generate enough milk, or maybe the uh, maybe mother did generate enough milk, but baby had the problem with the sucking it. Or maybe if he didn't have enough milk and he had to be aggressive and suck harder. Uh, or maybe the mother was not holding the baby. All of those things will create an oral fixation. And oral fixation is a term which will lead to oral type of personality. People. Or uh, fixation means that uh, a child had too much tension, too much stress, too much anxiety at this uh, period in his life. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the oral type of personality. And we can uh, divide uh, people into groups, people with this type of personality. And um, it can be passive depends de dependency or aggression personality. Uh, passive dependency is smoking or any type of oral fixation, oral addiction, alcohol, uh, gum, biting nails, uh, biting uh, any pencils, like any type of fixation uh, which we have around the mouth. Eating disorder, overeating or not eating enough. And we will talk about uh, eating uh, disorders and eating mechanism uh, on next uh, Thursday, next webinar, which is called Overeating and the Inner Child. This is all about the oral type of personality. Uh, if you cannot control uh, the amount of food that you eat, if you um, uh, go into the refrigerator and cannot stop yourself, then uh, please come to the next webinar. I will tell you about eight reasons why people do this. We're going to talk about this specific fixation in details. 
um, passive dependency also can um, can be uh, we can see it as a love addiction people who end up in toxic relationship the victim behavior dependent uh, uh, relationship where the person uh, depend on other person relationship with a narcissist and long distance relationship unrequited love also is here and the second type of uh, oral personality is aggressive uh, behavior aggressive dependency and uh, uh, is when a when a child was sucking uh, mommy's nipple and did not get enough milk or the milk was not fat enough was did not have enough and green enough minerals or vitamins right so a baby became angry and aggressive and the child develops the belief system that in order for me to get what i want in order for me to survive basically not just to get what i want i want milk i need milk in order to survive so in order in order for me to survive i must be aggressive i must be aggressive to achieve my goals i must be aggressive to get from one destination to b uh, from destination a to b examples a person who creates fights out of anything a person who likes to eat meat on a bone like chicken wings with the bone chips any type of hard food um nuts chewing gums it's it's like aggressive type of behavior of uh, movement aggressive movement like meat from the bone um a person who likes aggressive sport like mma boxing wrestling because the oral type of personality is based on the contact between mother and the child and if the if mother was not holding the child uh as a result we have a person who wants to have in close contact aggressive close contact and this is your martial arts right mma boxing wrestling close aggressive contact aggressive type of personality um a, another example a person who bites his nails or bites pencils a person who uh, has desires of uh, fighting of argument and person who likes to argument a person who uses sarcasm a lot as uh, offensive jokes it's like biting with your words with your mouth biting sarcasm and a person who likes to use others to meet his own needs and uh, again uh, on the online training the third week we're gonna talk about parents love as a foundation for a happy life and again uh, we're gonna talk we're gonna do the meditation right the child wants to be protected to be loved and to be happy we're gonna talk about the divine parents uh, and exercise the divine parents uh, and how important is it to feel that your life and you are important for your parents and we're gonna do an exercise where you can actually feel that and you can experience that feeling and it's gonna be the foundation for your inner child the foundation for healing your uh, childhood trauma and we're gonna do the exercise uh, the divine egg and you will be able to reborn to go and experience these feelings of new life and you're gonna reborn into the world uh, which is an abundant loving place so the anal stage or anal type of personality uh, we go through this stage when we are we went through the stage when we were like between year and a half and three years old and the focus of libido and again this is the part of the body where child receives the biggest pleasure pleasure is anus and um, the child must learn how to control his bodily needs the ability to control his body and this stage is where uh, the child uh, develops a sense of control a sense of accomplishment and independence if uh, the child went uh, through the stage successfully then he grows up into a com competent adult a person with good 
self-esteem, uh, a person who can control himself, a person who can control his life, a person who can control money, a person who can create gold, uh, goals, and a person who is successful financially. And people who had uh, fixation on this stage uh, and fixation is formed when parents were too controlling, uh, when parents did not reward the child for learning how to use a potty, those people develop anal type of personality. And children who had problems with the constipation or diarrhea might develop two types of personality. It can be an obsessive controlling behavior or a person with a messy type of personality, a person who cannot be in charge of anything. So there are two opposite type of personality. And obsessive controlling behavior uh, is the fixation on holding feces. When the person had too much stress, a child had too much stress, too much fixation, too much tension on holding his feces. When the child was uh, trying so hard uh, to, to hold his feces in order not to poop to his pants. And uh, as an adult, we might see a person who wants uh, to control everything. Everything should be on its place. Uh, on its order, um, a person with OCD personality disorder, a person who has a spotless house, a woman who has a spotless kitchen, everything is organized at, in, at her kitchen, in her kitchen, uh, a person with a spotless office, uh, a woman with a spot or a man with a perfect closet where clothing uh, is stored by type and color. Mm. A person who likes to be in control, who never late, uh, and he might actually get angry if he is late. He will feel shame, and he is not okay when other people are late. He's gonna judge other people for being late. Uh, here we're gonna have a person who spends money only on necessary things, uh, who likes to save money, mm, and. He might even have a hard time of spending money on himself. He will not buy expensive stuff because it's a waste of money unless it's uh, ex absolutely necessary. And here we're also going to have a good girl syndrome or good boy syndrome. Uh, it's desire to be perfect, desire to be good, desire to be the best in everything. And the person who is going to intellectualize and rationalize uh, his uh, decisions, his life, and this person is um, not gonna be any... These people are, are not usually creative people because they have to block the creativity. Creativity is when you let things go the way they are, you open and you have no expectations. Then you create new things like an artist or musician or a dancer. And those people, they are always in control. They cannot uh, just relax and let things go. And another uh, type uh, of anal personality is uh, an opposite, a, a messy person, a person who cannot be in charge or who hate to be in charge. And also the fixation, uh, uh, fixation meets tension, right? Fixation was on uh, this party training stage. When the person um, was uh, uh, fixated on letting go on, of his feces. Um, and as an adult, we see a person who cannot save money, a shopaholic, a people who always in debt, or people who can barely survive between salaries. Uh, we might have a person who struggles uh, with planning his life, planning in advance his family vacations, holidays, parties, a person who cannot uh, organize things, uh, a person who cannot keep his word, uh, who will change his opinion often, uh, a person with a super messy closet, uh, who has uh, a messy car, a complete mess in his car, and um, a women, w women who have... Uh, mass in their purses and um, this uh, fixation it can be deep or it can be shallow so uh, maybe 
you are a well organized person at work but when you come home your home is a mess so it means that you had fixation on this stage but it did not affect it all your life but because you had a fixation on this stage at home you are a total mess and again during the uh, healing uh, the inner child workshop we're gonna work on uh, transformation of those feelings of trans uh, we're gonna transform the fixation we're gonna heal uh, this fixation and it's gonna be an exercise at toward in a swamp and we're gonna release your hidden aggression because fixation is always about aggression i will talk about it a little bit later and we're gonna learn how to release your aggression and how to overcome all those shoulda woulda coulda i have to i must to uh and allow yourself to desire what you want accept uh, allow yourself to accept your body and to love yourself to love your body uh, and we're gonna do an exercise which is called i can and we're gonna talk ab about the ability to be the boss of your own life and to live by your own rules and make uh be responsible for the decisions that you make and anal aggression aggression can be formed when a toddler has too much tension too much stress during party training when he cannot hold um, his feces or he cannot release his feces he becomes angry and the fixation of uh, on this stage can lead to uh, masochism and uh, the masochism is the mechanism of uh, enduring a pain or sadism and sadism is an uncontrolled desire to cause pain to other person or an animal and here again uh, a person can develop two type of fixation it can be squandering or savings and the person often feel angry with himself for that for uh, being too controlling or uh, for being squandered and behind this aggression uh, is the aggression on parents for example a child gets angry when uh, a parent says something like this until you poop you're not gonna play until you poop you're not gonna watch tv no devices until you finish pooping or uh, if the child pooping his pants a, a parent might say uh, something like shame on you you are a big boy why can't you learn how to use potty and the mother or father is shaming uh, Mm, his child and the child feels angry but he cannot feel angry towards his parent so he feels angry towards himself so this is uh, inner aggression and uh, because he cannot feel angry towards his parent another way he's gonna be angry towards other people again a child might be mm, quiet at home but when he goes to school he might become violent because this anger that he feels inside he cannot release it to parents he's gonna release it to other people mm. and as a result we might have an anger person or a person who is uh, always looking for permission for advice uh, for example a woman who constantly calls calls her husband or uh, her parent her girlfriend and she has to discuss every decision that she is making uh, in reality this type of uh, woman or this type of person is looking for a permission she is afraid to make her own decision so she is looking for parental permission for a parents who parent who is going to support her and um, she did not have it in her childhood so she is gonna going to replay this um, um, this scenario in her adult life uh, a person develops self-criticism and negative self-talk inner aggression if the child was not able to release this aggression on other kids or on other people he's gonna 
be angry and it's going to be inner aggression, hidden inner aggression, self-criticism and negative talk. And fixation on this stage can also lead to sexual problems. Uh, because sex involves different smells, fluids, sounds. In order to experience an orgasm, you have to relax, you have to let go of your guards, you have to allow all those smells, fluids and sounds to be part of your sex life. And the person, he either cannot allow it, he is in control, he cannot relax, or the person or uh, is afraid. Uh, if it's a woman, she might be afraid or, or that the person will think something bad about her or she's going to be judged and she will be tense. And if she is tense, uh, then she cannot have orgasm. And I would like to uh, invite you again to the eight weeks of online training uh, where we're going to work with the aggression and we're going to do an exercise that's called four ways to respond to rudeness. And I will share with you four options, four ways how you can talk to rude people. And I will explain uh, which way is working in which situation. And I will share with you specific phrases that you can use if somebody is uh, um, talking in a rude way to you or somebody is crossing your boundaries. And we're also going to talk about uh, inner fears, hidden inner fears and hidden anxieties. And we're going to do an exercise that's called meeting your inner monster. And you will have an opportunity uh, to meet your inner monster in order to feed him, in order to calm him down. So you're not going to feel so anxious, so stressful in your real life. Then we're going to do the meditation, which is called the source of my strength. And I will show you, I will teach you how to open your internal uh, channel, internal source of your strength and abundance. And we're going to do an amazing um, exercise, uh, uh, which called overcoming the fear of great spider. And uh, a spider is a symbol of um, kids, uh, of children's fear, of children's anxiety. And we're going to do an exercise that will help you to overcome this fear and leave all your fears in your past. And I would like to invite you to the online training. And if, if you click on the link below this video, you can see um, um, the program of the training. You can see the topics. And I always I offer four ways to participate. And we're going to meet once a week online. We're going to do exercise and we're going to work with within two months so you can actually heal and connect with your inner child and they offer discounts and if you register today or within the next two days you will receive 15 percent discount you can also uh, invite your friends and both of you will get 25 percent off and if you share uh, this video or uh, the link to this training on your social media you will get five percent for each link that you share okay i am gonna be happy to see you uh next uh, tuesday at uh, my alarm is ringing next tuesday at 8 a.m los angeles time pacific time and uh, we will talk we will continue this uh, webinar and I will be answering your questions at the end of the webinar. So please join me. It's going to be next uh, Tuesday at 9 a.m. And next Thursday, again at 9 a.m., we're going to talk about uh, eating problem, overeating problem, extra weight, and the inner child. Again, my name is uh, Elena Semenek, and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. If you want to change your life, if you want to be happier, uh, more successful, uh, have more joy and create love and healthy relationship, you are in the right place. I welcome you to my new, I welcome you to my channel and I will be happy to see you on my next webinars. Okay, bye-bye. See you next time.